Hi guys, it's Keith with Arkenberg Farms here. And I want to take a second to talk about pest control with you. This year we've had rain basically non-stop all season and the aphids have been a little bit of a problem. Um, I keep keeping up with them using safer soap. It seems to knock them back pretty good, but let me show you what I've been doing for it and what they look like and then I'll show you some uh, beneficials here at the end. You can see the dead aphid right there in the center. You can see his carcass. That's what happens when you get him with safer soap. Now let me go try to find some live ones to show you real quick. Okay, now here we've got some live ones. You can see them down in there. Not sure how well you can see them. Little green bugs. There's a couple right there. I so said I've been keeping them down to a minimum. And a few more there. There's also a dead one right there. Since we are a natural farm, we don't use any uh, chemical pesticides or herbicides. So far, safer soap's been one of the main things. I've been using it, it's been working great if I can spray it. Problem is it's been raining so much I haven't been able to keep up. And here we've got the emergence of the worms. This was all hit with BT. Let's see if he's even alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Easy way to take care of them. No more. And they're on the greens as well. They're just harder to see. The purples just show them a little better. Let's go over and look at my natural predators. I was just getting ready to cut my spinach and I noticed a bunch of these little guys in here. Ladybugs! And they're mating which is great because the nymphs actually eat more aphids than the adults do. I seen them all up and down this road a little bit ago. I got a decent second cut of spinach here. It's been struggling too. Weather's been up and down. Probably could have waited a couple weeks to plant and would have had a lot better harvest on it. And let me show you what I'm using to fight them. I've been using Safer brand insecticidal soap to take care of my aphid problem. It seems to come out a lot cleaner in the wash back in the processing shed. Before that, kind of hard to tell here, five tablespoons of dish soap to one gallon of water. And it'll do the same exact thing. Just try to use the biodegradable kind so it doesn't leave a film. The biggest problem with it in the wash tank, it starts to bubble if you don't have your overhead on previous to cutting it and getting it ready to process. Okay, getting ready to spray for aphids. Got the Echo portable tank attachment for my Echo ES2500 blower. Got insecticidal soap and BT in there. I'm gonna go through and spray for all the aphids and all the worms I've got going on right now.
about both these products is that there is no exclusionary period on them. So these can be harvested tomorrow.